Hi everyone, my name is Olivia from Peak Physio in Newcastle and today I'm going to be taking us through a Pilates mat routine, specifically working on our glutes. All you'll need for this exercise is a comfortable surface, so a mat or a soft surface just like carpet and a pillow for your head. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. For our first exercise, we're going to come straight down onto our back. You should be able to just reach the heels with the fingertips. Relaxing through the neck, shoulders and jaw, you're going to peel the tailbone up, pressing through the heels to lift the bottom up into the air. Little squeeze of the buttocks at the top and then slowly rolling back down. Excellent. So we're just pushing through the heels here, sending that bottom high without losing the control through the rib cage. You don't want to just arch out through the back and lose that abdominal control. So just really working through that back body here, getting everything nice and awake. <clears throat> On this next one, <clears throat> excuse me, going to hold that bottom up, drop it down and lift. So tiny little glute pulses here. You want to ensure that we're keeping the pelvis nice and stable so you're not dipping or rolling at all. We're just working at that end range there. Tiny little pulses. Excellent. Again, maintain that breathing here. We're not holding our breath. Beautiful. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold and range, and we're opening the knees. So tiny little butterfly movements with the legs here, still keeping that bottom nice and elevated. Excellent. Again, keeping the pelvis nice and stable here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one beautiful slowly rolling it down little hug bringing the knees into the chest excellent so that's our warm-up well done we're going to come straight on to our side now so we're going to bend that bottom knee you're going to extend that top leg back behind you towards the back corner of the mat. From here, we're going to come into our lift and lowers. Now with this, you wanna make sure that the pelvis is nice and stacked, so you're not rolling at all with that top hip. Still engaging through the deep abdominals here by drawing the belly button in towards the spine, having that lift from the pelvic floor. That's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, 
one, we're gonna keep it up and come into some little circles. So we're gonna be moving forward towards the front of the mat, but still keeping that heel slightly back on that diagonal. Excellent job. I like to just keep my hand on the hip so I can really feel under my thumb, my muscles engaging. Excellent, and reverse. So now we're going backwards direction, driving that heel behind us, still keeping the foot elevated off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, bending the knee. You wanna bring the ankles in line with the bottom here. We're still working on this side, so you can really probably feel that muscle getting nice and warm now. We're going to just open that top knee and close. Excellent, well done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Give that bottom a little bit of a rub. We're almost there. You're going to just elevate the ankles here, keeping the knees together. We're going to open that top knee again, keeping the hips nice and stacked. Beautiful, well done. And then we'll be rolling over onto the other side. So again, coming to that nice side lying position. Bottom knee is bent, top knee is straight hand on the hip. We're going to lift and lower from here. So again, that heel is going back on the diagonal. And we're trying not to bounce. That's it. So staying nice and strong through that right knee, drawing the kneecap up. So we're really engaging through that thigh muscle. That's it, almost there. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Holding it up, we're coming into our circular motion there with the foot. Excellent. Ooh, feeling that burn. And reverse. Staying nice and active through that leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bending that knee. Give that bottom a little bit of a rub. We're bringing the heels in line with the buttocks. Hips are stacked here again, so we're making sure that, that top hip isn't rolling out. We're going to come straight into those knee lifts. Feel different for you side to side. Excellent. 
out and then we're going to invert so bringing the ankles up keeping the heels together and opening that top knee that's it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 beautiful give that bottom a little rub well done next up we're going to be coming on to all fours you're going to bring the wrists directly under the shoulders and the knees directly under the hips. From here, we're going to slightly draw the belly button towards the spine or lifting the lower belly away from the waistband of the pants. And make sure that we're evenly pressing through all fingers so we're not collapsing down into the wrists. We're slightly coming up and out of the shoulders here. From here, we're going to just extend one leg out behind us and coming back in. So we're staying on this one side. I like to imagine that there's a broomstick running down my midline. So as I extend that leg, I'm not letting my body sway too far over towards the left side. That's it. One more and we're holding that leg up. Going to just do tiny little pulses at the end there. Now you'll note that my lower back and my pelvis isn't moving too much here. So I don't want any bucking out or losing that control through the lower back. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bringing that in and we're going straight over onto our other side. We're holding that leg up and we're pulsing here. That's it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Bring that knee straight down. You need to come off the wrists for a moment and give them a little circle. That's fine clockwise and anti-clockwise and if you need to complete this exercise on your forearms because it's too uncomfortable on your wrists please feel free to do so excellent so we're coming back into that position here we're almost there from here we're going to weight bear through the left knee still equally pressing through the hands and keep this knee bent as you take it out to the side and back to the center now again with this one, we'll have a tendency to really want to open up. I still want you to try and keep those hip bones dialing down towards the mat. For five, four, three, two and one beautiful onto the other side so weight bearing through that right knee and we're lifting the left keep the neck nice and long here that's it four five four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. I'm going to take the knees as wide as the mat here 
extend the bottom back onto the heels and big stretch out in front. Well done. Awesome job, everyone. That concludes our 15 minute Pilates mat glute burner. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a call, but hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks.